Hello, Hello there. there, it's Fiona so, from Weekly um, Sewing Just Bee. before I finish up so now, today I'm going, going to so make, really um, it, it doesn't matter how big or small you need your pockets to be, if you're making it for yourself and you have all your crochet tools, things then it'll be quite nice and, um, to There's a lot to be said for putting a screwdriver in there as well, Personally, the right that's size. probably only me. Um, sure if you're making it for presents or somebody you don't know what sort of tools they got, okay. then and then they we're just going to go random. Now what we but one thing you must is do we need is you to must make sure that the lines of the pockets um, are straight. I'm going now to I've marked for my work clearly with well. the post-it And my work hooks have so quite a bulbous you know, handle. So I do Just need to be aware of yeah. that. It's not too bad on yeah. my machine because on the teeth Rather and then than it's literally buy right on the lots corner of so I can see that it's in different colours. Uh, yeah, so I'm then we chop off all our loose ends, um, which we love to do. Well, quite and cheap we have our bands. Our and, um, yeah. So tools. I know, but you do need a piece of elastic. But all you know, ready. I'm using it. We do band. need to stick a Just button because on. they come now, in such If you're colours. making it for yourself, you do and have the advantage and is that you can we'll put one sort of decide. So yes, quite what do we need? How wide it's going to be? Because remember, we have my rug making of tool here. and its bulbous bottom. That is. So if I have quite a few of them, then my roll might be out here. But you know, twice. What can we do? You know, we can't. We can't. Of we can't your crochet hook so easily. I'm going to because what we need to fold do it into is we a need third. to fold in a shelf, and then I'm going to and then place we need the to button. fold this down so, so that you know, we can. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Store these. That's all I can say. Because some of them are quite little. We don't want them to fall out. That's why we've got the V. And some I would of them recommend quite, quite a large so. button. Just so yeah, to, but it's quite amazing to give how much fighting chance. I really use. like these wooden now, toggles. It really um, depends how really long, do. how I, I, I many, how many you know, tools you want to store. So this month's button is wooden toggles and a couple of stitches of other things. And maybe so even in embroidery thread or 12 inches? contrasting oh, right. thread. Anyway, fabric, yeah. right side to right side. All cut all out, done. ready to go. All I've ready also got a button to sew on. It's new and I'll knife. say that about there. So that when this is all rolled well, up. Well, thank you for watching. Then the hair and, tie. Uh, please like, come. share, and subscribe. Back to the I beginning. do make daily videos, so I will be back. Now, because I'm, I'm using nice poly cotton, it's one of the best things to sew. Is right for I you. set my machine but up get on sewing, uh, is all I two can say to you. size. Thanks ever so much for quickly. watching. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to decide where I'm going to turn it inside out and where I'm going to place that hair tie so that that's already done and everything's ready to go. So I'm going to take my hair tie and I need it in the middle of what would be this bit. So I'm going to put that there now and I'm going to mark it with a pin, not necessarily pin it in but just mark it with a pin just for my own self and then I'm going to leave this hole here so that I can turn it inside out. So <clears throat> now the nice thing about getting this uh, hair tie in first is we don't want to sew anywhere near this metal tag and it is just where the the hair ties join together. So let's start sewing straight over the elastic, it doesn't mind, and I'm going to sew 90% round so that I can then turn it inside out and I've got these lovely flat edges. All right. Hi, so I'm 90, probably 95% round now, and I'm just back stitching where I'm going to turn it inside out because I don't want to weaken the seam. And then it's a matter of just pulling it through. If you have a knitting needle or something then you can just literally push those corners so those corners are really nice and sharp. Um, it just gives a better finished look. Now because I've chosen to um, use quite a plain lining I don't have to now make the decision of which way round to do it. But Yes, which is a good thing because I'm um, sometimes a bit indecisive. Okay, so what all I'm doing is I'm just rubbing these corners and that helps pushing them out as well. And of course, we could use the dreaded iron. 
So I'm just coming up to the last one. And we can pull it straight. So, there we go. Now, I've got my hole here where I turned it inside out and you can see that it naturally folds around. It's, it's quite handy like that. So I don't need to worry about it yet. And what I'm doing is I'm deciding where to fold. There is no right and wrong. And then I am folding again. Now, I personally like to mark these with a pin just because once you've made that commitment, then, then that's, that's got to stay. So, and I'm going to mark this one down here slightly. Now with my trusty sewing machine, I am going to sew this square. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to ignore everything else. Whilst I sew this square, I'm going to make sure my turning inside out bit is round the right way. And then I can put a couple more stitches on top of this hair tie. And obviously I've got to be really careful of this metal thing. Because if my needle hits that, then my needle is going to break and fly off. Alright, so I know I think I would do the sewing around the outside thing first. But that's fine. Now, if we were to decide how large we wanted our, our holes to be, because that's the next question, I have a scrap piece of fabric. You can see that it's even got pen on it. I'm going to fold it over once, and I'm going to fold it over twice, so that I've got a good idea of the thickness of this. I'm going to mark a hole with a pin, I know for want of a better word, I'm going to place my largest tool and then I'm going to mark it with a pin again. I'm going to take it out and then I've got a very good guide of how large I need at least one of my um, holes to be. So, that's that done. Now, I've got the sewing machine all set up and ready to go. And I've clamped it halfway in between my pocket that I'm going to sew. And I'm, I'm, I'm always going to start halfway with this. Because I don't need it to be every slot the same... Because some of them are a little more than bits of wire, a little more than um, knitting needles. I don't need to do this, but I would like it to sort of match up. So I'm going to do the first one in the middle. And then it's just a simple matter of deciding and placing all these little lines to make those pockets. So it's such a simple thing, and um, I hope you agree, a very nice present. Now to balance the large one, I'm going to do a little one next to it. And I'm not saying I'm going to completely guess, but... Now, the little one is probably a little more than a centimetre, but... It would take a pencil or something like that. Okay, well I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to whiz around the outside and then I'm all finished. It, really that simple. Hello there. So, um, just before I finish up now, I'm, I'm so nearly finished. It doesn't matter how big or small you need your pockets to be. If you're making it for yourself and you have a set of tools, then it would be quite nice to, to make it personally the right size um if you're making it for a present for somebody you don't know what sort of tools they got then yeah we're just going to go random but one thing you must do is you must make sure that these lines of the pockets are straight now i've marked it quite clearly with a post-it note so you know just to just to yeah 
it's not too bad on my machine because on the teeth and then it's literally right on the corner so I can see that it's straight uh, yeah so then we chop off all our loose ends which we love to do and we have our tool pocket thing already we do need to stick a button on it now if you're making it for yourself you do have the advantage is that you can sort of decide quite easily how wide it's going to be because remember my rug making tool and it's bulbous bottom so if I have quite a few of them then my roll might be out here but you know what can we do you know we can't we can't we can't guess so I am going to fold it into a third and then I'm going to place the button so you know if I'm wrong I'm wrong that's all I can say couple of stitches just to get the thread in I would recommend quite a large button just to just to give it a fighting chance I really like these wooden toggles um, I just really do I, I, I have you know it's not a new thing it's not this month's button is wooden toggles and a couple of stitches and maybe even in embroidery thread or contrasting thread then uh, all done, all ready for its new life. Well, thank you for watching and um, please like, share and subscribe. I do make daily videos so I will be back and hopefully you can catch one that is right for you. But yeah, get sewing is all I can say to you. Thanks ever so much for watching.